Well, hello, beautiful. This is part two. Okay, and today is the, what is today? The 27th of April, um, and this is part two. Okay, Revelation 15, three, they sing the Mo song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb saying, great and marvelous are your works. Lord God Almighty, just and true are your ways, O King of the saints. Second Thessalonians 2 Thessalonians 2.13 But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you. Brethren, be loved by the Lord, because God from the beginning chose you for salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth. Matthew 16.5 Now when his disciples had come to the other side, they had forgotten to take bread. Here's a little message. Seven, my child, seven, look up. Count the days. What's the significance of 43? Does it tie in? Shock waves are coming. Electro beams will hit the satellites. Rain, it's coming. This time it's not a mirrored image, it's falling. Believe in me and I will save you. I have already paid the penalty of sin. Seek me with full repentance and believe. I want to save you. I wish for no one to perish. Your Adonai and your deliverer, it's soon. Keep looking up. Esther 4.3 In every province where the king's command and decree arrived, there was great mourning among the Jews with fasting, weeping, and wailing, and many lay in sackcloth and ashes. Daniel 3.11, And whoever does not fall down and worship shall be cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. Ezekiel 21.8, Again the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Genesis 42.3, So Joseph's ten brothers went down to buy grain in Egypt. Philippians 3.9, And be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith. Luke 17.3, Take heed to yourselves. If your brother sins against you, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. Luke 21, 5. Then as some spoke of the temple, how it was adorned with beautiful stones and donations, he said. Mark 8, 6. So he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground, and he took the seven loaves and gave thanks, broke them and gave them to his disciples to set before them, and they set them before the multitude. John 9, 5, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Now, this is part two, so some of those scriptures may go with part one. I don't know. So the way I kind of figure out scriptures, you know, if, if I don't understand something, go read the whole paragraphs. Because I've noticed that the Lord gives me verses and the chapters he wants me to focus on. So and I think that will help make it come together. Because I'll be honest, I don't really know. I mean, God doesn't give me words of knowledge. Now, he'll give me revelations on stuff like um, the end times and how things are, what they mean in the Bible. Like he, he does do that, like when I pray in the Holy Spirit and ask for discernment. But when it comes to like his messages, guys, I'm just reading his words. I don't know what it all means. You know, it's a mystery to my brain. I, I can't even fathom it sometimes or know what what it means. So that's why you should always seek Jesus for everything. Always pray to him and ask him guys, because he is, he's our Lord. You know, he, he loves us all. And I think, you know, in the Bible, I mean, Jesus always talked in parables. It was very confusing at times. Well, that's how these messages are, <laughs> you know, so it's just, you have to kind of understand the parable and look at the scripture. It ties in somehow and um, again, I don't know. You have to ask Jesus on that one. Um, you know, my words of knowledge, people that I get a lot of information from are, uh, Jesus saves two, seven, four, seven. And, um, what was the other one? Um, Cassie from faith over fear 44. 